Good morning. I'm Clint Lambert. Welcome to Village in Motion. <clears throat> it is Tuesday. No, it's not. It is Thursday. Wow. I have only missed part of the week. Okay. It is October the 11th. I know that much. Uh, and here on Village in Motion this morning, we have got with us in the studio our own finance director here at Green Spring, Cody Burns. And we're very glad to have Cody with us this morning. Thanks for having me. And, and welcome, by the way. You've now been here what, almost two months. Almost, yes. A month permanently. Two okay. months. I started interim and then uh, became permanent just over a month ago. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. How are you finding things? Uh, good. Um, finally starting to get my hands into a little bit of everything. Um, starting to uh, work with the team a little bit more on streamlining some of our processes and, and getting things cleaned up. Um, so, and finally starting to get out into the community and meeting residents, which is really what the most important part is. Right. Well, from a resident standpoint, our most important part for you to be doing is telling us we've got enough money mm -hmm. <laughs> and that finances are stable and, and moving along appropriately. Mm -hmm. is, is that the case? Yes, uh, we're very strong financially right now. We had just uh, ended September um, with, a, with a good month um, ahead of plan by a little bit. And so, um, looking very strong for the rest of the year going into the last quarter. Okay. We were behind due to the lack of payment mm -hmm. uh, from Medicaid, I, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Are we catching up with that? Yes, we actually saw a little bit of catch up in September and we should see the main catch up in um, October as our accounts receivable department starts to get all of the payments in and the cash posted. Mm -hmm. How is Garden Ridge doing with their income now, with us being down for a couple of months mm -hmm. uh, this year? Uh, they've started to recover a little bit. Um, it was mainly due to the census issues, um, and the census has creeped, cre crept back up a little bit, still slightly below plan, um, but going into the end of the year, we should see it stabilize right around where we had planned it to be, so we should see the, the revenues um, catch up to plan okay. um, for the remainder of the year. So you don't need, see need for us to go into reserves or anything along those lines? No. All right. Speaking of reserves, mm -hmm. I hear about reserves, everybody hears about reserves. How much do we have in reserves? Reserves with respect to what? Cash reserves? Cash or? reserves or overall reserves? Um, last time I checked, uh, the, the cash that we had in our securities and, and investments was about $180 million. Okay. And we are able to borrow from that if need be, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So a lot of that money will be used for capital projects coming up if, um, if we need to dive into it. Um, but we like to try and hold it there as, as long as we can to have the money grow for future use okay. um, on bigger capital projects. Right. Are we using any of that money to pay for um, the uh, redirection, that's not the repositioning that we're doing it with Garden Ridge and the proposed repositioning with town center, et cetera? Mm -hmm. That's exactly where the funds come from, is, is the cash generated um, from the entrance deposits. And that's where the money sits in that $180 million. So we pull from that and then entrance deposits uh, that come in replenish that money. Okay. So the anticipation is any money pulled out of the reserves to pay for the projects mm -hmm. will be re replenished by the uh, entry deposits and service fees? Correct. Okay. And we're on, to, we're on top of that? Yes. Yes, we see um, it fluctuates month to month, but overall it stays pretty relatively flat okay. um, with our cash reserves. Very good. Very mm -hmm. nice. I'm assuming uh, a finance director would be a key person in an administration mm -hmm. like this. How often do you meet with Chandra? Um, formally, I meet with her two to three times a week, um, but since our offices are right across the hall from each other, mm -hmm. I'm over there um, probably at least once or twice a day, if not talking with Chandra, talking with Brad and Melissa on some strategic things that we're working on to um, streamline some things, lower some costs, um, and talk about future projects that we're, we're, we're looking into. Okay. I understand one of your strengths is simplifying um, information. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you're starting to do that here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, a, I think a big thing for our residents here is to understand 
the finance is better. And finances can be very complicated, yes. but <laughs> if I can break it down so that they can relate to them and kind of understand what the decisions that are being made and the implications of those decisions that are being made have on the community, I think it will benefit the community as a whole, not just from an administrative perspective, but also from a resident relations perspective. Mm -hmm. Can you share with some of the things that you're doing about that? I mean, of, of mm -hmm. how you're trying to make it more simple? Well, I'm starting with the, the Resident Council Finance Committee um, and trying to help them understand the financials that I provide to them um, every month. We've had great discussions about our accounts receivable processes, um, our capital expenditures, and how we, how we decide what capital expenditures to go after. Um, in our budget process as well, since that was happening throughout August and September. Mm -hmm. And then going into the end of the year into next year, we'll start to look at other line items and, and as the questions come up, create um, platforms to discuss those questions. Okay. And, and being a member of that committee, mm -hmm. you, you certainly are simplifying it and we greatly appreciate that. Thank uh, you, thank you. Lines. But one of the things that you've done is the fact that you've encouraged questions. Mm -hmm. um, would you take questions directly from residents if they came in the office and, and had a question? Yes, uh, we have an open door policy in our office as long as, as, long as we're there. Um, I'm out and about in the community a lot, but um, you can always talk to anyone in the office if you wanna speak to me directly and we can set up a meeting to discuss whatever questions you may have. Mm -hmm. I might not have all the answers at that time, but I will always f work to find the answers for you with talking with Chandra and, and our other partners that may have better information. Okay. One of the things I understand is potentially changing, or maybe it's already changed, is now of being able to use our meal of the day in the bistro, or that's mm -hmm. coming up, mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Can you tell me about that from a financial standpoint? Uh, financially, it doesn't, it's not going to have too much impact on the numbers. Um, it's just the way that it's accounted for in the POS system, okay. and I think they had to make a change in the POS system over in the bistro so that w it would accept that. Um, in terms of the start date, I, I don't remember what the start okay. date is. You mentioned the POS system. Mm -hmm. Would you explain that? I'm not sure everybody understands. So POS is a point of sale system. So it's where we record all of the transactions at the point of sale. Um, so when you go to a, any one of the restaurants, the bistro or the cafe, wherever you're checking out, that is the point of sale device. Okay. And that's where they're recording the transaction, whether it be with your meal of the day, a flex meal, um, or if you're paying with cash. Or when the uh, server takes your order and they go to the POS machine. Correct, right? correct. Uh, in regards mm -hmm. to the enter that, okay. You're putting out a quarterly report to the Finance Committee. Mm -hmm. The Finance Committee then puts out a, a report to the residents via the, the uh, villager mm -hmm. every month uh, along correct. those lines. Any other ways of getting the information out about finances that you're thinking about? Um, well, we, we do uh, have forums like the Coffee with Execs um, where we will be posting high-level financials, um, which is actually next Monday. Okay. And then so monthly, that, that will be a place where we can discuss the financials and take any, any questions on what's presented there. Um, and then I, I really see it more as, as, as questions arise and, I, and we see a, a trend of what those questions are, we can create forums or, or other platforms to discuss those questions. A forum is coming up a week from Monday? Actually, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep, okay. so we have the transition forum um, to Garden Ridge tomorrow, and we did have a good number of people sign up for that, um, but we fell short of where we had uh, originally anticipated, so we are taking walk-ins tomorrow as well, okay. and that is from noon to 1.30 in the uh, Hunter's Crossing Conference Center. Okay. And are there any other forms coming up? Or uh, we have one more for the year. Um, December 7th is um, when a resident moves out or passes away. Mm -hmm. um, and that will be also in the Hunters, Com Hunters Crossing Conference Center from noon to 1.30. All right, and so we can still sign up for that? Yes, sign up spots are still available. Just stop by the finance office and we'll get your name on the list. All right. Well, it sounds to me like it's the ball's in our court to uh, initiate our questions, mm -hmm. uh, just get signed up for the forums. Yep. Ask questions. Yes. Learn. Yes. And I'll learn with you. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, Cody, it is such, so nice to have you with us. We're so glad you're with us. And, uh, you know, let us know what your, question, what your questions are of us. 
sure. and how we can better uh, ask questions to learn from you. Sure. Okay. Very good. Folks, don't go.